What's going on guys? It's the crypto boss with the long awaited video of how to set up profit trailer feeder, PT feeder. So this is basically, if you guys aren't familiar with this, this is basically just the add on that more or less runs on top of profit trailer and it updates your settings every so often. Mine is set to about three minutes and it basically updates the settings based on how the market is doing at, the, at any given point. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Basically, this is one of the, the folders inside the PT feeder um, zip file. And you have different settings that will be set up. So you have the DCAs, the indicators, the pairs, and they're all set up differently for each market. So the PT feeder will scan the market every few minutes and it will decide what strategy to to implement and this is very important because when you set up profit trailer you kind of just set these vague settings and you don't really know what the bots gonna do in, in any given point um, it's just gonna listen to your hard-coded settings and in this with profit trailer feeder you kind of get more freedom of how you want your bot to run and I actually really like it it's been working really well for me I've had it going for about six days now and it's really been been really productive, even in the down market that we just experienced with everything crashing, you know, with all the bad news, with the South Korean exchanges, with China trying to ban uh, Bitcoin mining, all this stuff. The profit trailer feeder add-on actually really helped me to continue to profit even in a down market. So, and that, that was due to the super bear settings and the bear settings. So that's cool. Um, so first things first, Let's get to it. I want to preface this by saying this is not like a really beginner thing to add on and neither is profit trailer. So you can't just go into this thinking it's super simple, but there is good news if you are not a coder or you're not familiar with the terminal windows, the command prompt, or you don't want to deal with it. This website, CryptoFitBot, actually has some options for you. And this is this is where you're going to buy PT feeder. And what you'll do is you'll just go to this website, cryptofitbot.com. I'll leave it in the description. You go to shop and you have here. So you can, you can also buy a profit trailer here. You can buy uh, each license, Binance, Bittrex, Poloniex. And then here, as you can see, if you don't want to do the installation yourself and you're willing to spend a little bit of extra money, you can buy the profit trailer install. And this team, the crypto fit bot team, they will install your profit trailer for you and they'll get it all set up and running so you don't have to worry about it if you're not familiar with with how to set things up if you think you can do it on your own um, i made a video that explains how to set it up previously so go check that out um, i think it's called how to set up profit trailer fast uh, for mac and windows whatever um, and then the same thing for PT feeder, you can get the install and they will install it for you. It's a little bit of extra money, but for those of you who don't want to deal with the headache of getting things set up, like I said, it's not super straightforward. I'm going to try and make it straightforward, but you, you might still enter encounter errors. So here we go. PT feeder, you will simply add this to your cart. Um, oops, view cart. And you have PT feeder, so I have two of them. There we go. Um, so the total is 0 0.02 Bitcoin. And this is, once again, if you're setting it up yourself. So proceed to checkout. And this is also important. So name, email address, put in your Discord username and Telegram username. So I've been told by the PT feeder team that all of a sudden they've... So before, let's go back a step. Before, when I signed up for this and I purchased the bot they were doing everything manually and it was only a few people and they got a huge amount of traffic. So it was very difficult for them to dish out the license keys and get everybody set up. They're helping with um, installation stuff. It was very difficult for them to keep up with the mass amount of users that they got when they launched this thing. So now I've been told that they are all automated. So everything with the licensing is all automated and that's really cool. So for me, it took a few few hours to get my license key just because they were running catch up. So for you guys, if you haven't made a Discord name or Telegram username, you gotta do it. 
go there before you buy this bot put in your Discord username, your Telegram username, and I think you'll be automatically entered into their Discord chat and their Telegram channels. Um, definitely do that before you purchase because you can't go back and add these in. You'll have to search around online for their Discord and their Telegram. And it's not that hard to find, but if you're not paying attention and following along in this video, then it will be hard to find. So do that, then place your order, send your Bitcoin, wait for Bit the Bitcoin blockchain to confirm and you'll be set up. And then since it's all automated, they should be sending your license key to your email that you provided or in the Telegram or in the Discord. I'm not sure how they're doing it, but if you have all those in there, you will get your license key at some point. Check your spam folder just in case. Okay, next, you're gonna go to this website github.com slash methadone slash pt feeder slash wiki and this is their wiki so if you're getting this bot read this don't ask a question unless you've read everything through the wiki because they have all of your answers most likely posted here and that's that's your first step read the wiki do everything you can so they also have the link to the profit trailer wiki um which you should have read as well but anyway, so read through this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna skip through since I've already read it. And this is the homepage. You can go to installation and they have instructions for installing the .NET SDK on each system, operating system. If you haven't downloaded that, do it. It's not difficult. I won't go through it. Most likely you already have .NET installed on your computer. So I'm gonna skip that step. If you don't, there's very blatant instructions on how to install this stuff. So click on those if you don't have it, but you could try running PT Feeder first and that will be a good way of telling if you have these or not. Um, so what you'll do is you'll install PT Feeder, go to releases, and you will download the PT Feeder v1 zip file. Okay, so that will get extracted onto your computer and it will look like this. There's a ton of folders in here, right? The one you're concerned with is the config folder. And this is what I was talking about earlier is Profit Trailer Feeder will go through and update your settings periodically based on how the market is doing. So this past week when everything was down, we were in the super bear or the bear mode. Um, recently we've been running in the boring mode and you don't have to touch any of this. This is the great thing about it is these these get updated like this runs on top of profit trailer so this updates your profit trailer settings so if you go into your profit trailer folder you'll see these same files and what what's happening with feeder is it's updating these files constantly and then it's overriding your PT your profit trailer files with these files based on market sentiment and that's pretty cool so it gives you it gives you some good stuff so what you'll do and here is you'll open this file with text and I'm not going to open this. I took pictures because my information is in here and I'm not going to give you that. Sorry, buddies. But anyway, so here it is. This is what it looks like when you open it. So this is very simple. You're going to go to whatever exchange that you set up or you purchased your, your license key for and you will simply type in your file path. And if you're on a Mac, this is the file path that it looks like. If you're on a Windows, it looks different with your um, C colon slash users, other, you know, it's a forward slash instead of a backslash here. Um, very simple, right? And, and basically you're pointing to the trading folder, which is, where did it go? Oh, not this one. Um, the, <laughs> Okay, so this is your, your trading folder for Profit Trailer. This is something I should make very clear. So let me pull it up. Let me go back. Where did I leave this folder? Sorry, guys. Give me, give me one second here. I know it's here. All right, so this is what Profit Trailer looks like. You're gonna open up the trading folder and copy 
if you're on a Mac, you can't copy this, unfortunately, but if you're on Windows, you can just click on here, copy it, paste it in here. It's pretty simple. Um, but basically, this is the folder you're looking for because DCA properties, indicators, and properties, if you remember, it looks just like these. So what it's doing is you're, you're basically looking for this trading folder location. So that way, every time Profit Trailer Feeder updates these settings, these settings will get overwritten in this folder, if that makes sense. So then you'll put in your license key right here. And next you'll put in local host and don't use the same one as your profit trailer. So what I did is just use 8083 instead of 8081. And basically when this is, this is where your profit trailer feeder will be running and your profit trailer is probably running on 8081. Um, this is how long it, every time it will uh, update. So this is three minutes. That's how often I want my profit trailer to be updating these settings. And, and then you can put in your Telegram bot ID. You can put in whatever you want. I didn't do that. So, you know, everything else is you're good. Then next, what you're going to do. So this is the profit trailer. Next, what you'll do is you'll open your terminal window. And that looks like, you know, I've done this in the other videos, but you'll go to your finder and you can type in, let's see, you can type in terminal. You'll open this guy. Once you've opened terminal, it's pretty simple. You're going to type in CD and then you're going to drag and drop your PT feeder. If you're on a Mac, you can drag and drop it inside the terminal window and it will populate this for you. If and then that, that is the file path that you're telling your terminal window to look at. And why you're doing that is because you're going to run this .NET space PT dash PT feeder dot DLL, which is inside of the PT feeder folder, um, somewhere in here, this one. And that is what you're telling the terminal to do. You're telling it to run this file. And once you do that, You'll click enter after this and, and you'll click enter after this one too. So after you type in CD and then you got your file path, you click enter and then it'll show dash iMac PT feeder dash V1. And then after this dollar sign, you'll type in .NET space PT feeders uh, slash or hyphen whatever, which is this file name. And then boom, you click enter and all of a sudden your PT feeder starts running in your terminal window. And I didn't show that because that's just not necessary. Once you have that going, it will say, you know, updating whatever, whatever, updating candles or whatever it says. And um, it'll say checking marking conditions and it'll say, you know, zero out of 98 pairs queried or 25 out of 98 pairs queried. And then it'll be querying for all the different data that it needs to run. Once you've done that, you're done. You you guys have set up Profit Trailer Feeder and you let it run for a while and see see how it treats you. And um, I guess with that, that's the end of this little tutorial. Let me know if, if you guys are getting some errors. I'll do my best to help you. Um, I can give you guys these configurations, the app settings and the super bear, bear, boring. I can give you my settings um, and other than that, then you guys are fine. Like this is your profit trailer feeder is now running on top on top of profit trailer. You may get some errors when you press enter here and the errors will generally be in red. They'll be like highlighted in red or something. If you get those errors, you can leave a comment and let me know. And I'll tell you if I had that same issue or whatnot. So let me know if you like this video, click thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this in the future. So with that guys, I will, uh, I'll have to catch you in the next one. See ya.